In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to transform survey results into a word cloud. The word cloud is defined as a collection or cluster of words depicted in different sizes. Here are some examples of a word cloud. To easily make this output, we can use a web application called Mentimeter. Go to Mentimeter.com. It is an interactive presentation tool that allows teachers or event hosts to engage their audiences in real time. If you don't have an account, click the sign up button. You can use your Facebook or Google account to register. You may also manually fill out the form to create an account. If you already have one, simply click the login link. I am going to enter my email address and password to access my Mentimeter account. The objective of my video today is to be able to create a quick survey. Then the result of that survey will be used to form a word cloud. Click the New Presentation button. Enter its name and click the Create button. There are several types of presentations Mentimeter offers even for free account users. I will select Word Cloud. Under the Contents tab, type in the question in the Your Question text box. Suppose students or my participants will only be allowed to enter one answer. We may add an image to personalize the slide. The Customize tab allows us to manually close the voting, hide instructions, and hide results. By default, the students will be able to participate before the presentation expires in two days. At the bottom of the slide, we can enter notes to help us identify what this form is for in case we have multiple slides here. We can also increase and decrease the size of the text. Once then setting up the presentation, instruct the participants to go to www.menti.com and use the unique code. Audiences may join from the mobile app or via menti.com and enter the join code in order to see and respond to the question. If the code answered is correct, he will be able to see the question and the text box for his answer. He can change his answer as long as he has not pressed the submit button. Once done, he will see the success page. Let's go back to the teacher screen. The presentation will be updated in real time. As we can see, the answer is already here. It will automatically be updated every time participants submit an answer. Let me show a completed presentation which I asked my students to answer in order to create a word cloud. This one contains 36 answers. If a word appears bigger and bolder, it means the word has been answered several times. This result can be downloaded as a PDF. If you want to reuse the presentation, we select the Reset Results button. Let's explore the options in the Share button. Under the Participation tab, we can extend the validity of the voting code. For free accounts, we can expand up to 7 days. Copy the voting link and distribute it to participants. Say this is the screen of a student. He will enter the link into the address bar and he will be directed to the question and answer page. Going back to the teacher screen, as an alternative to the link, we can download and send a QR code to participants. Let's proceed to the presentation sharing tab. This is the link that we can copy and share with participants if they would like to have access to the Word Cloud result page. If this is the screen of a participant, he will just enter the link to the address bar and the result will appear. I am back to the teacher screen. Embed code is also available. We can copy then paste the embed code to our website if we have one. The present button can be used when presenting the result to a live audience let's say in a classroom or in a video conference. If you find this helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Please feel free to leave your comments, questions, and suggestions. Thank you!